we have example of a design analysis of a single family dwelling unit up to 150 square meter floor area which is not more than six circuit on a panel board so the dwelling has a floor area of 145 square meter it has the typical household appliances including on a 1.5 horsepower room air conditioning unit so in a 2.1 we need to compute the total load. So in E, we have this uh, general lighting and convenience receptacle load. We can check the table 2.20.2.3 in our uh, PEC 17. And then uh, on table 2.20.13, include the receptacle outlets of a 20 amperes or less. So 145 square meter we multiply it into a 24 volt ampere per square meter so the result is we have the 3480 volt amperes so the computed load is a 3480 divided by 230 this is the power supply voltage so equals to 15.13 ampere so we can put a one branch circuit of 20 ampere would be theoretically adequate However, for the flexibility and to allow for future needs, provide 2 ampere branch circuits for lighting and convenience outlet. So it's better we have two circuits so that we can uh, separate the lighting circuit and also the convenience outlet. So in letter B, we have small appliance load. So in the small appliance load, that is for example for a refrigerator, we have some uh, oven, a microwave oven, so you can check it in our section 2.10.11.1C.1 and also in section 2.20.3.13.E. So we can make a 120 ampere at 1,500 1, uh, volt ampere. So this is the apparent power for that uh, load. So we can provide one 20 ampere small appliance circuit. So that is the circuit number uh, four, uh, number three. So we can put it in our schedule of load. So next, we need our uh, laundry circuit. So that is uh, for our laundry machine. So in our section 2.20.1.11.C.2 that 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 and also in our section 2.20.3.13 that be for our reference that is in our prepare car code so we can put a 120 ampere at 1500 volt ampere for the apparent power on this laundry machine so we can provide one 20 ampere laundry circuit so we have a total of 6480 volt amperes so when we we will apply the application of uh, the one factor we can check it in our T bolt two dot twenty dot three dot three. So in our first three thousand volt ampere for a six for eighty volts, that is hundred percent. So we have three thousand. So we will minus the six for eighty into three thousand. The result is three thousand for eighty. We multiply it to the thirty thirty five percent the demand factor. We have the result of 1218. So we have also other load, the one 1.5 rom air conditioning, 10 amperes. We will multiply it in the 230 volts with a 100 percent demand factor. We have the result of 2300 volt amperes. So that is that is the apparent power of this uh, circuit. So we can provide 120 ampere rom air conditioning circuit. And then we have a total net computed load for a 6,518 volt ampere. So we have a circuit requirements. We need to use 520 ampere two wire branch circuits. So we have a circuit number one for the lighting outlet. We have also circuit number two for the convenience outlet. And we have circuit number three for the small appliance load like uh, like a refrigerator microwave oven 
so that is uh, intended for on that circuit so we have also circuit number four for our laundry machine and then also circuit number five for our uh, air condition outlet so we have a total of uh, 6518 for the parent power on that schedule of load with a uh, 28.3 for amperes total on this schedule of load so next we will uh, compute the service entrance conductor which is the total full load current so in our reference we use the section 4.32.4 and 4.40.1.7 and our Philippine electrical code version 17 So we sum up all the apparent power plus the 25% of the highest apparent power circuit on this schedule of load divided by the 230 volts we have 31 amperes. So the Philippine electrical code uh, use the 14 MMTW wires for this uh, schedule of load that is the service entrance conductor on this uh, circuit or on this system. This is the safest wire for this uh, schedule of load. So we can check the conductor and overcurrent protection operating in our section 2.20.3.11 in our Philippine Electrical Code 17. And then we can check also the minimum service entrance conductor. We can refer to our section 2.30.2.3b on our Philippine Electrical Code version 17. So next we will check the service equipment. So we need to know the maximum current rating of protective device uh, which is our reference is in section 4.30.4.2 and table 4.30.4.2 on our Philippine Electrical Code. So first we need to compute the non-time daily fuse We sum up all the apparent power on the schedule of load plus the highest, uh, 300% of the highest apparent power on the circuit divided by 230 volts, we have 48 amperes. So next we need to compute the inverse time current circuit breaker. We, have, we sum up all the apparent power on this uh, schedule of load plus 250% of the highest apparent power on the circuit divided by the 230 volts so the result we have a 43 amperes so the Philippine electrical could uh, recommends 150 ampere trip one pole 240 volts molded case circuit breaker on this system so this is the single line diagram uh, we are using 214 MMTW wire which is 55 ampere over 31 ampere so we have 60 ampere one pole we have five branches of circuit breaker we have also five branches of fuses in the circuit number one using 20 ampere one pole circuit number two 20 ampere one pole circuit number three 20 ampere one pole 20 ampere for the circuit number four one pole and circuit number five is 20 ampere one pole so the circuit number six is only a, a space because uh, the, with uh, our example which is not more than six circuit and then the size of our grounding wire we use 8 mm tw copper wire we can check it in our table table 2.50.3 that 17 for our grounding electrode we can check the part 2.50 that train our Philippine electrical code so this is the standard on our uh, Philippine electrical code in designing um, small dwelling unit which is not more than six circuits